During the last week of August 2025, development in the Google slash Dawn repository focused on major tent compiler refactoring, advancing dynamic array features, and expanding back-end capabilities. Dan Sinclair led a significant cleanup of the tent compiler, removing the legacy AST-based SPIV reader, simplifying array type creation by making stride calculations implicit, and removing numerous deprecated AST attributes like stride attribute and internal attribute. Quarantine Willez pushed forward dynamic binding array support in Dawn, adding validation against pipeline layouts and implementing the necessary Vulkan backend logic for their creation. Willez also introduced new texture.pin slash unpin functionality for explicit memory management. On the performance front, Lokbondo Kung removed device lock acquisition for many API calls by adding no auto lock dot true to the API definition. Significant progress was made on the native web GPU backend as Greg Tavares implemented command buffer encoding for render bundles, compute passes, and render passes, while Shrek Shao added the initial texture WGP implementation. Infrastructure saw notable updates with William Kendillon adding CI jobs to produce iOS and Android pre-built binaries. Finally, the deprecated Chromium-Experimental-Primitive ID extension was removed by Brandon Jones, consolidating support under the standard Primitive Index feature.